Robert back here. Welcome to this week's edition of the Coffee Challenge. Today we'll be using the uh, Coleman 508 that I picked up from a local Boy Scout troop a couple of years ago. Got it on the cheap and uh, bought a bundle deal. I bought several stoves and lanterns from them. And um, we're going to try this uh, Blackbeard's Revenge. Arrgh. And not only that, we're going to try cowboy coffee for the first time. So, we said we grind some of this up and um, see if this old stove will fire up. I fired it up once when we first got it, but um, just to see if it worked. And it's been stored ever since, so uh, may have to stop and put it on a fuel cap gasket or something. But hey, let's, let's, I'm ready to try this Blackbeard's Revenge. So go. Cross y'all's fingers on how this whole stove is going to react to this cold. Like I said, I haven't used it since uh, I lit it when I first got it just to try it. So we'll see what happens. Well, not bad so far. Clean that generator tip. Let's give her a few minutes to warm up and see what happens. Okay, she's starting to calm down a little bit. She's just being really cold natured. Yeah, once I set that pot on there, it contained that heat down around that generator, and she calmed right down. Perfect, beautiful blue flame now. Gotta love it. Okay, we're gonna call it done. It's starting to get that froth on top. So we said we turn this thing off. This is my first time to do this. They tell me you hold the water above it and just pour it in quickly. From what I've seen. my first time so I don't know if that's enough or too much still steaming so it's still hot but hopefully that pushed the grounds to the bottom of the pot
Nope. See right now we got failure. That's why I don't do cowboy coffee. I just wonder if my cowboy coffee failure might have been because of the way I had it ground. As you can see, what's in there is really coarse. That's the shell or the skin of the coffee bean that floated back to the top. I think all the grounds actually did go to the bottom. Like I said, I, I, I've got that coffee grinder set really coarse for my percolator because I like a coarse grind in my percolator. So uh, that could be what it is. Okay, at first, I'm just going to call that a failure because the grounds came to the top. But I took my spoon, my spoon and skimmed them out. And it was uh, more of a uh, the skin from the grounds where I ground it so coarse. I think the grounds actually did go to the bottom. So I scooped the skins off the top and um, it, it looks good, tastes good. Actually, it's really good. But, um, it was uh, 46 degrees last night, or this morning around 1.30. By 8 o'clock this morning, it's in the low 20s and snow flurries. But it feels so much colder. So I, I had to have a big cup this morning. Oh, man, that is good. Feels so good on the hands, that ceramic cup. Oh man, it warmed up. Okay, I gotta send this cup of coffee out to somebody. Since I'm holding this big Coleman cup, um, so we send this out to the collector. Say so we go with my buddy Adam, Coyote238. He got bit by the collector bug. I had nothing to do with it, but uh, he's got several nice lanterns in his collection now, and he keeps growing. So Adam, this cup's for you. All right, y'all know the routine. Like, share, subscribe. God bless.